What is going on everybody? It's NB Austin 967 back here with another video and today I am going to be doing a my league rebuilding challenge video and today it is going to be a Marvel vs DC the comic book rivals alright so you guys see the screen I'm gonna go through it one by one first we have Iron Man and Batman and it is going to be you know these heroes have money to blow and even even better super suits to go around and the challenge requirement is that the player must have signed a 100 million dollar NBA contract and have their own signature shoe you see the example players I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna read them ever you guys can go ahead and look at them for Thanos and Darkseed shout out Snyder we need to see that Snyder cut soon I know it's supposed to come out 2021 but it is the big bad but it's not the biggest threat in their respective universe I'm gonna get a little bit nerdy here, but I know there's like Galactus, there's still uh, Annihilus for Marvel. I don't know much about DC, honestly. Um, so the challenge requirement is that they have to be the villain of the NBA at any point in time by the media and or its fans. I wanted to do like maybe team base. It's a little bit too basic because like anytime a player leaves, it's like, oh, fuck that guy. All right, next we have Spider-Man and Nightwing. I thought it was gonna be Spider-Man and Blue Beetle, but I guess not. I mean, I thought it was gonna be those two because you're insects, but I did more research and they say Nightwing, I guess because he's a little bit younger and he's more like a sidekick, I guess. But Spider-Man, Spider-Man's not really a sidekick, honestly. So he's a young hero up, up and coming who has a lot of room for growth as they learn about their powers, of course. And this player must be 25 years old or younger and have finished top five and most improved voting and at any point in their career and obviously if they are 26 years old they will not fit them uh, next we have human torch and firestorm a hot headed player who can also catch fire at any given moment this player needs to have average 10, 10 or more points per game less than 44 percent field goal 36 percent or better from three and over five technical fouls this season just to show the hot headedness as well as you know like their inefficiency, not inefficiency, but like their, them being a streaky player. Next we have Vision and Red Tornado. For Red Tornado, as you can see right there, I kind of, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to do the freaking turn trade logic off or whatever, but it is, I'm going to try getting Pascal Siakam because, come on, it's Pascal Siakam, his go-to move is a spin move and Red Tornado, you know, spin, spin, spin. Alright, but they they were both as viewed as a villain when they were first introduced in the comics, and um, I don't know if Red Tornado has been introduced in like Supergirl or any of that stuff. Then eventually they became to be known as a hero. So the challenge requirement is that they had a bad start to their career, as in like the reputation or not meeting expectations, and now they're somewhat respected or you know at least liked a little bit more. Next we have the Winter Soldier and Red Hood. They both seem to have died in tragic ways but of course it's a comic book they're gonna resurrect no matter what but they did resurrect in very iconic ways and this player must have come back from a career changing injury with the soldier of course because of his arm red hood i completely forgot now but you know we chilling all right next we have captain america and superman they are the leaders of their respective cosmic world or comic world i'm sorry and always viewed as a symbol of hope and strength the only thing is for this challenge requirement is the player must have the Alpha Dog badge, but for Marvel, I'm going to make sure that this player is from America, and for DC, that they are not from America because Superman is not from Earth, he is from Krypton. Okay, next we have Hulk and Solomon Grundy. I have no idea about Solomon Grundy, but shit, that's, that's what they said, that's what the internet said, I'm going to take their word for it. Alright, so, to put it simply, honestly, they're just the strongest beings that they have, that they have to offer, especially, you know, World Breaker Hulk, all that stuff. But for the challenge, we are going to say that the player must have an 85 strength and either one of these badges on gold or better brick wall, contact finisher, back down punisher, or moving truck because that is what somebody with a lot of strength would do. And I, I keep tweaking out. I, I feel like I'll be seeing shit right now. I don't know if it's because I'm up late and it's um, it is like 4 8 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. Okay, next we have Deadpool and Deathstroke. Deadpool is a... Um, is it is a poor man's that's strict but when it comes to the movies that deadpool definitely has the upper hand i don't know if this trick has any any movies but they both had military background before gaining the powers via some sort of very sick and wicked science experiments so let's not get dark and twisted in this one because it's kind of hard to do that when it comes to a basketball game so um I hope nobody was ever used as a human test subject at any point in their life in the in the NBA or anybody for that matter, but we'll just go with 
A minus or better basketball IQ. Next we have Hawkeye and Green Arrow and they are just absolutely insane marksmen. They're regular humans, no superpowers except the fact that they just right to the fucking you know? So the channel requirement is going to be that they need that the player needs to be a 40% three-point shooter or better in their in their regular season career and the playoffs. That way I, that way it's a little bit more limited, it makes it a little bit more fun. Next we have Mr. Fantastic and the elongated man. Which they both, if you just search it up, they have the ability to stretch your body to a tremendous length. The challenge requirement is going to be that the player must have an ape ape index of eight inches or better. So it's like when you're uh, so for example, Giannis has a seven foot three wingspan and his height is six foot eleven, meaning that his ape index is plus four. All right, next we have Ant Man and Adam. So they have the ability to shrink or grow at any given moment in time and, and more growing and shrinking and I'm just more so just shrinking but obviously it goes back to normal size so yeah with uh, the power from their suits of course so this player must have grown or shrunk from the NBA's official height listings and I just have the website because yeah it was gonna take up like the entire thing if I wrote down every single player that was affected by it. Next we have Quicksilver and Flash and come on man. They are the best speedsters from their Earth's fuck zoom, fuck reverse flash, they was cheating. And this player does have a speed rating of 90 overall or better and have quick first step badge and or downhill. Finally we have Namor and Aquaman. They are skilled anti-heroes who are great on land and in the water because even though they're not mermen so to say, they're half, half man and half like, damn like Atlantean, something like that I think so. Alright, so the challenge requirement for that one is going to be that they, because they are two-way human beings, I'm going to say that they are going to be two-way players, and in that case, they must have made an all-NBA team and an all-defensive team in their career, not, a, not in the same year, because that's kind of difficult to do. So, yeah, let's just get on with it. I'm going to try, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys. I did already try this two times. I failed terribly. I failed in trying to make the trades first time around I did it as expansion teams I realized that that was a terrible idea second time um, I made a lot of bad trades secondly along with that I realized that instead of going like finding Iron Man and then also finding Batman at the same time I should have just went Marvel first like go all the way down Iron Man, Thanos, Spider-Man, Human Torch, Vision, Winter Soldier and so on and then once I finished with Marvel then I should have gone to DC oh actually wait, oh nice one of the teams that I randomly landed on was the Heat and what was the other one? The Thunder? Thunder got the 17th pick okay just not bad at all okay so this team I'm gonna check first what what these players are could possibly fucking land on. Oh look, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm gonna have the Thunder as DC. I'm, I mean as Marvel because I don't even have to try trading for Donovan Mitchell. I just have him right here. That's beautiful. Yes. Okay, now let's get it popping. We're gonna start off with the Thunder. They are going to be Team Marvel. Hopefully, I end up getting these teams to face off against each other. But this team is not so great because it, once again, it was in the middle of the pack. Whereas the Heat got the number two pick where they drafted hard, and I wish they would have actually drafted the prop. But we we chillin', we chillin'. All right, after double checking, I only have three players that actually meet the criteria. It's going to be Bamba as Mr. Fantastic, Quicksilver for uh, Fox, DeAndre Jordan as Namor, and then oh, actually four because I start out with Donovan Mitchell, which is beautiful. Okay, so. Everybody else is going to be traded and will be traded. So it's just a matter of finding out who they will be for. I'm going to try to trade. Maybe the. I mean, I don't know, right? I, oh, I'm the Thunder. That is beautiful. Because they have all this abundance of. All these abundance of picks because of what they've been doing. Okay. This is going to be nice then. What if I just straight up give you that? No? What if I also give you a pick though? And another pick. And another pick. And another pick. And maybe another one. Hmm. CP3 is on here now? 
I guess he didn't tell you $100 million accounts. I could have sworn. Isn't he on here? Oh, he doesn't have his own signature shoe, I guess. Wait, doesn't he actually have one with Jordan? Oh, he does. I'm so stupid. CP3 does fit this. I forgot about CP3. I'm so sorry, CP3. I'm sorry. It says, we're not getting back enough for what we're giving up. I'm giving you two and a half stars. You're giving me one. I will give you a second. The fucking steal. Get out of here. Oh, I bring Chris Paul back. Nice. Okay. So, Chris Paul is going to be our Iron Man. Okay. Dan for Thanos. Bull Bull. I don't need Bull Bull. I, I, I wish I could cheat and just say, hey, yeah. In his... How many games did he actually play? Even though technically they said they're not going to cut him. He played in seven games. He shot 44% from me. I'm not going to cheat my way into this. Or out of this. Yeah, I'm going to just... Yeah. Just straight up like this. And it's an upgrade. Come on. No, I'm not going to trade you that. What the fuck? Where the hell are you guys... Why are you guys trying to hustle me? I really want to trade you. I mean, he only has two star trade value. They said, yeah. I'll take it. Mellow is my human torch. Next, we have my vision. Um, Vision. It would be very fitting to get a guard here. But I think I want a bonus. Let's give you this one. And another. There we go. Got some bonus. Man, this is so much of a blessing that I got the Oklahoma City Thunder. And two picks, you're crazy. I'll give you... I'll give you a second. And another second. Come on. Come on. This is too easy right now. And you guys seen. I, I hope I, I hope my dumbass didn't forget. I am going to show you guys that I downloaded somebody's realistic settings. This is what it's called. Okay. I mean, obviously, there's also salary cap off. So that helps me a lot. situation what if I just did this okay I could trade him for a first and a second remember that or this one the Knicks are willing to give me a very very nice pick of course because it's the Knicks thank you Knicks yes yes wait oh because it's with the heat sorry I can't do it can't do it that's cheating um, I guess I'll do this one, because I get two seconds in return. Or two for one, technically. I mean, I can always get rid of DeAndre Jordan. I know I know he's supposed to be my name or, but there's also... Oh, I could, I could go get Tyson Chandler, trade for Noah again. I mean, if they say yes. No, I'm not going to give you DeAndre Fox, unless you give me another speedster. In any trade, I would like to get back something else oh you want Emmanuel Moody eh? and then you oh, yes 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 I love this trade I might be giving up way too much maybe I am maybe I'm not but I think that this is going to work for me beautifully fair I still have all sorts of picks to give you thank you I'll give you blue door straight up I'm gonna give you a second and a first. Okay, so Captain America is now boogie. Weird. This time I'll give you two. I'll give you both of my picks if you do this. Okay, sorry, not doing it then. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'll do it. Okay, I got Derek White on the team. I'm gonna call that team back up who was willing to give me a first, just a straight up first form. And then I'm gonna sign a free agent. It's going to be a center. You, Nene, thank you. Hopefully I can turn you into first. That would be nice. What the fuck? Why can't I trade you? I'm gonna just get rid of you then. Sorry. Not to sound mean or anything, but... 2K says no, then... Fuck him. I need to change it to a power forward, I'm sorry. I mean, there's this possibility where I can get Aaron Baines and Rondo. 
And then can I turn Nurkic into this? No, I can't turn him into my Tyson Chandler. Oh, he could be my Rondo. Rondo could be here, though. Rondo could be here. And Aaron Baines could be... Aaron Baines could be... Wow, I don't know. Baines? I think I want to do this one for sure. I need to know for sure that I can actually turn Aaron Baines into something. Or can he be the Hulk? Alright, doing that. Rondo is going to be our new Namor. Just straight up like this. Or like this. Hmm. Why is it so difficult to do this right now? Oh, there we go. <laughs> How about if I gave you Andre Roberson as well? There we go. Team is complete. Team is complete. Iron Man, we have Chris Paul. For Thanos, we have Draymond Green coming off the bench. Then, we have Donovan Mitchell at shooting guard for Spider-Man. Then we have Melo as our Human Torch. Yes. So bonus, you are going to be our Vision, Derek Rose. You are going to be Winter Soldier, Captain America, that is DeMarcus Cousins. I will never repeat those words ever again, except later on in this video once again. Um, Nurkic, you are our Hulk. Deadpool is our butler. Luke Kennard is our Hawkeye? Yes. Bamba. You are Mr. Fantastic. Ant-Man, you are Chris Stapps Porzingis. And Namor is Al Horford. The Marvel team is complete. I feel like I did a beautiful job at what I just did. Unfortunately, I do not have the um, luck that I did have with the Thunder. So, I only have two of them. I have Iron Man as Harden. Or, I'm sorry, no, no, no. I have Batman as Harden. And then for Firestorm, I have Bertans. I lied. I also have Deathstroke, which is going to be Eric Bledsoe. Three seconds. Yeah, fuck off, you're not getting that much for Julius Randall. Oh, I just want to gauge my eyes out. Okay, we'll just do this one. Uh, if they say that I can't tra Okay, I'm gonna trade for the second one. Something better than nothing. I'll trade for Danny Green, I think. Or uh, James Johnson, actually. He's gonna get even better. Because then I could just turn his overall up by doing this. Warriors, oh yeah, because I did I did have DeAndre Jordan once upon a time. I know that he would fit for something, like Hulk, I think, or, yeah, something like that, or Namor. But, nope, I'm gonna just keep trading up until I can get something even better from you, my friend. Let's see, is there even something better than you that I can get, my friend? Oh, there's two firsts. I'll take the two firsts, who was offering it? Don't tell me it's in the team. I don't know. Lakers. I'll take it. Jeff Green it is. This one's probably the oh no no no. This one's a better trade. Barely. Yeah, I guess. Fuck it. Thank you. Thank you for feeding the poor. Chris Boucher, actually. Yeah, caps are definitely in the way. Yeah, I think the best one is this one. Or trying to get. Yeah, we're just gonna flip. I think I wanna do the. Yeah, I'm gonna do the German trade. It looks bad. It kinda looks bad. But I think it's gonna be good for now. Fucking hell. Alright, well, I got Levine and he's going to be our redhead. 
I am currently not speaking because I am trying to focus very hard on trying to make the proper and very best trades possible. I forgot even what. Okay, there we go. Every brand new. And then a pick. This brand one gonna be two first round picks. I'll take it. Oh yeah. She better already turn into a shooting guard because of me earlier. Thousand dollar then attempt. This one's a whole lot more difficult. I'm so focused right now that it's it. I, obviously, it's so difficult as I keep repeating, but it is difficult for me at this current moment in time, just due to the fact that I did not plan this a top three pick with this team. Please, 17. Okay, come on. What do you want? Do you want Mikael? I mean, if you don't want this, I don't know what more else you could want. What would I get rid of Blato for? Do I care? Okay, Daddy is found Jay Potter. Yeah, I think I'm okay with getting rid of Eric Blato then. I hate that I have to fucking give up so much, but shit, man. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put him at small forward because his rating will increase. And you want to give me a first round pick in return, actually. So, yeah, fuck it. Just straight up like that. Come on. Don't hold me. <sighs> I guess because I'll flip her strong then. Alright, so I got my flash. It's going to be rushed. Thank you. That is beautiful. Um, I was going to say, do you really have the Houston Rockets with Harden and Westbrook back to you? Then? Maybe Royce O'Neal because I'm a nice guy. Okay, now we have Chandler. Okay. Ant-Man. Let's look again at what players have shrunk this team is definitely not going to be nowhere near as good as the other one I could tell you that much let's see Kings no Kings they didn't have any height changes actually hmm I could get PJ Tucker At this point, I have no choice but to give up somebody the higher rating unless it's Romeo. Give you. Hold on a second. This is at the bottom of this team. I'll give you him too. Oh, fuck you. I guess I'll give up my cow. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Because I have to. I have three fucking Houston Rocket players on this team. Did, did I not understand how it worked in real life? Because clearly, I'm just going with what the hell the Rockets did. I know you guys have Steven Adams. Give me him instead. You want a pick and Tyson Fanny? No. I'll just give you a pick, maybe. I don't want to give you a pick, though. I would just straight up give you Chris cliche just like that, and a pick. No? You want Steven Adams instead? That's fine. Blake Griffin, yes. Blake Griffin as Batman. Kelly Olenek. Where are you at? Alright, you are Darkseed. Julius Randle, where is your bum ass at? You are Nightwing Firestorm, that is Bertans, where are you at? You're right there. Pascal Siakam, I know I traded for you because I traded for I traded too much for you. Zach Levine, you're here, right? Zach Levine? Wait, Zach Levine. Oh, I was so scared I got rid of him. Harden, yes. Jonas Valanciunas, yes. That is Young. That is. That is. Hey, oh, Oh no, he's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gary Trent Jr. Where are you at? Gary Trent Jr. Yes, he's here. Kaboklo, yes, he's here. Uh, PJ Tucker? Are you in attendance? Yes, PJ Tucker is here. Russell Westbrook? Yes. And Tyson Chandler? Yes. Okay, this team is most definitely nowhere near as talented as the other team that I put together. Okay, I like this. 
I would probably prefer for Zach Levine to start, but this is alright. Alright, so now we finally have our DC team. Ah, oh, man. This was a pain. This was the hardest challenge I have ever done on any game mode. And still, I did not complete it properly. I should have probably just traded Harden for like Jokic or Embiid. But instead, I kept Harden and I thought he could be a Superman. But I'm just stupid. Yeah, let's go on with the video. You better have liked, commented, and subscribed by now. What's wrong with you? I made it this far. For perimeter shots. All right, now we will sim to the end of the season and see how everything goes. Man, I hope this was going to be worth it because holy fuck, man. Wait, teammate chemistry got to be off. What the fuck? I thought I turned that shit off too. Teammate chemistry off. There we go. Now... Hopefully, uh, they didn't suffer a loss. Okay, they did not suffer a loss. Okay, let's go. Let's go. See you at the very end of the season. And I accidentally created the greatest team of all time. 76 and 6. Giannis, of course, is still going to win MVP because it's Giannis. Bradley Beal went 6 man for the Knicks? But why the hell are you the 6 man on any team? I have no idea. But DPOI and AD, okay, nobody, okay, we got the coach of the year. Or the Thunder got the coach of the year. Anybody from one of those teams, it's the Thunder and the Heat. I was trying to chase for you so bad in Q2. Thunder and Heat, Thunder and Heat, no, no Thunder or Heat players. I was also trying to trade for you so bad. Okay, Thunder, Heat. Thunder or Heat, nope. Alright, so it seems like they were still first in their conference, but 55 and 27, that is a big difference. Compared to fucking 76 wins, it's 21 wins differential. I, I'm not scared of anybody, I'm not even scared of the other team that I built, because clearly Marvel is more superior than me. Wait, no, Marvel is my OKC team. <gasps> they're gonna lose right Marvel oh no Marvel is the over overpower team yeah sorry 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 I thought the heat oh my god they're gonna lose in the first round don't tell me they're gonna lose in the first round okay thank you that would have been embarrassing notice how the heat are up three to zero here then just watch the rest watch his turn okay. bolt okay okay you're going to seven why are you going to seven Okay. Okay, it's playoff time, so you guys can all get three minutes. Come on. Keep it going. Don't let them come back. Don't give them them. Oh, you're giving them every sign of hope. Exactly what I didn't want you to do. Hope you're wrong. Yeah, honestly, I got so mad that I closed out, but we continue, trust me. There's not a way I can, like, rewind time. This is so harsh. Like, Griffin sucked balls. Look at him. He did terrible. <sighs> Damn. Well, once again, Marvel prevails. We don't know so much about on the little screen as in TV shows, but hey, I guess the I guess the Heat and DC can say that they lost to the eventual conference champions, but they will not become the NBA champions because Marvel is just gonna don't scare me like that, Atlanta. Thank you. Who wins Finals MVP? Let's take a guess and let's go with Spider. Oh, Chris Paul, nice. I was honestly hoping for a more dramatic finish, but instead we got only one team that made it to the finals, but that's fine. We still have one of the teams win the win the championship, of course. That's the main that was the main goal. Well, that was the second goal. The main goal was to have both of them meet up in the NBA finals. Well, yeah, that's gonna do it. The NBA Austin 967 signing out. Peace.